It's a brilliant story that is currently out. I urge people to go and see it on the terminal or online. Big names, big budgets. Tell us about why, though, Netflix is focusing on the film industry. Yeah, well, look, Netflix's goal is to be the most popular online entertainment service in the world. And if you rewind four or five years ago, that was primarily through other people's TV shows and movies, products that it licensed from them. So you'd go to Netflix if you wanted to catch up on something you'd heard about, but maybe didn't have time to see when it was in theaters or on live TV. Then they shifted into funding their own original TV shows because that's what people spend the ma majority of their time on Netflix doing. So they made House of Cards and they made Orange is the New Black. And all the while, you know, movies are still a popular, you know, a popular type of programming on the service. And once they got really into their groove with the TV shows, they are now moving forcefully into the movie business. Uh, and you're going to see them release a lot of their, their biggest efforts yet this year. I mean, you talk about in your story the $90 million being spent on Bright, which focuses on Will Smith coming towards them. They've got Brad Pitt, Tilda Swinton lined up for a comedy. They've got big budgets. What about what they're not doing that perhaps Amazon is, though, and they're not allowing it to play in theatres? Is that, That's really what's putting off Hollywood, is it? Yeah, so, you know, the way that movies get released these days uh, is that the, the theater owners, the, you know, your AMCs of the world, get an exclusive period where movies are only in theaters, and then later on they can be sold on iTunes or appear on a streaming service. There are some movies that appear that on the same day at home, those are called day and date, but they tend to be relatively small budgets, independent films. For your Iron Mans, for your comic book movies, you have to go to the theater for a long period of time. Mm -hmm. And movie studios want to condense that window, but they're still respecting that theater owners need people to, to show up in those first couple of weeks. Amazon has also respected theater owners' desires and has partnered with traditional movie distributors so that a movie like Manchester by the Sea, which won a couple of Oscars, was in theaters for a long time. And I don't e I'm not even sure if it's on Amazon yet. I remember checking a month ago, and it still wasn't there, and it had been out for, for a couple of months. Netflix is all about people using Netflix. They don't really care about the theater owner's business model, and so they want movies to be on Netflix and in theaters at the same time, and most major theater owners then will not release a Netflix movie.